Hey guys, welcome to Marine Perspective. This is Kelly Powers. I'm outside. I'm chilling for Jesus Christ. Hey, Lord bless you. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Hit that like button and share this with other people. Did you know that John 1-1 refutes Jehovah's Witnesses, Unitarianism, Mormonism, and Oneness Pentecostalism? Yes, yes, it's true. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, in the beginning, Anarche Halagos, in the beginning was the Word. Very important. Jesus Christ was before all Christians. He was with God the Father before things were. In fact, if you read John 1, 3, it says, For by Him, meaning the Word, which is defined in verse 14, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. So that refutes oneness or what's called modalism. The Word is not a thought. The Word is a person. And the Word is the one who created all things. In fact, Paul says in Colossians 1, 16 and 17, for by him all things have been created, both invisible, invisible, principalities, authorities, rulers, all things have been made by him, for him, for he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Amen? What's also stated is this, and the word was with God, halagas and prostantheon. Now, there's the definite article there, meaning that the word was with the God, talking about the Father. When you read the prologue of the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18, you see clearly two distinct persons being spoken of, the Father and the Son. The eternal Logos, which is Jesus Christ, who is the only begotten, he came into this world, according to 1 John chapter 4, verses 9 through 14, according to Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 through 6, which is actually prophetical from the Old Testament scriptures, places like Isaiah 48, verses 12 through 16, Psalm 2, and other places as well. Now, what's important to grasp is this, is that Jesus Christ is not the Father. He came to reveal the Father. That's why it says in John 1, 17, the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth were realized through Jesus Christ. And it talks about Jesus Christ being the only begotten who came to reveal the Father. This is so important. So this refutes Unitarians. Because Unitarians doesn't believe in the pre-existence of Jesus. In fact, if you read John 1, 16, talking about John the Baptist, he says, he existed before me. So talking about the pre-existence, Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus is a God, a part of creation. Well, Jesus was there in the beginning. He is by nature, identification as God. And John 1, 3 states, for by him, meaning Jesus, all things came into existence. If you even read the New World Translation, it says, nothing came into existence without him. Therefore, he can't be Michael the Archangel or any other creation thing as well. Now, Mormonism, that's a whole other story right there. If you were to read the Joseph Smith translation, that's a huge distortion with the CRISPRs teach, but this is important. John 1, 1 through 18, the prologue. If you don't get that right, you will miss everything else about who Jesus is and what is the gospel. Let's recap. John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word. So Jesus was there from the very beginning, and the Word was with God. Jesus was with the Father before all things. But, Kaithias and Halagas, and the Word was God. See, we see also in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11, Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 12, and other places, that Jesus Christ was God before he took on flesh, before creation. He came into this world, took on our likeness, became a servant for all of us who would put our complete trust in him. He died upon the cross and rose again. And all who put their complete trust in him and call upon him shall be saved. This is the good news of the gospel. Jesus loves you. So as I wrap up, John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Jesus is the eternal word. The only begotten who came and took on flesh. He is not the father. He's not a part of creation. He's not a God among many gods. There is one true God according to the Bible, Old and New Testament. Therefore, John 1.1, 1, 1, in context, refutes oneness, modalism, 
It refutes Unitarianism. It refutes Mormonism. And it refutes Jehovah's Witnesses and any other heretical doctrine that comes against the eternal deity of Jesus Christ as a distinct person and by definition against the doctrine of the Trinity, which is taught throughout Old and New Testament scriptures. Thank you for checking out this video. Lord bless you. May you share this video. May you like it. May you become a subscriber. And I pray that this is used to edify Christians and help non-Christians come to know Jesus Christ. May you grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.